Ah, ladies and gentlemen, anybody want to tell me just what in the West hell is going on with Jay Crowder? Listen, I understand sports. All right. Um, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, basketball, football, they got a thing where they pop you on the butt. Good job. Pop you on the butt. Mm. I don't know who started that. I've always been uncomfortable with the popping of the buttocks in sports. I have always had a problem with that. That's why I really just couldn't participate because, you know, um, I don't know if y'all know, I'm not a big dude. You know what I mean? Not a big guy, kind of small. And you know what I mean? Uh, you know, the guys on, on the football field, you know, they big, six foot something, 250 pounds, high school. You know what I mean? They got real big hands. And uh, I was uncomfortable. You know, I don't like, you know, it, you know, I just don't like that. You know, when I do something good, feel proud of myself. Your daddy's watching. And then your daddy get to see some big old dude pop you on the butt. And there's nothing I can do about it. That's not a comfortable place for me to be. So Jay Crowder uh, took it to another level. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to pop you. Hey, good job. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Mm, bam. It's another thing. To smack that ass. You, Jay Crowder, are smacking. You forgot where you was at. You forgot where you were. Yes, you did. Because you're not supposed to go all the way back and bow, bow. You took a nice, good stare at the young man's buttocks and you popped it good. You smacked it. He has a red spot. I know he does because basketball shorts are very, they thin. You know what I mean? And, and, and you work out, so you're very strong. You know what I mean? So, so he has, uh, his buttocks is sore because you really went into it. If you were at Magic City, they would have had to put you out because you're not supposed to tap them strippers like you're not supposed to do that. You know what I mean? Next time we got to we got to come up with a new tradition in sports. Let's if if we going to do this, if we going to treat each other like this, then take some $1 bills and just throw it in the air. Make it rain. You know what I mean? Do that. But don't 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 reach all the way back and come and pow and it was underhanded. Pow, pow, pow. Good job, boy. Uh-uh. 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 What you're not going to do is do the underhand with your big old basketball hands, you palming basketballs with these hands, these big old, big old hands. You know what I mean? And and you're moving when you when you're smacking fast. You know you're not really paying attention to where where your hand is landing. You know what I'm saying? And and, and your, your 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 middle finger. You know what I mean? Which is the longest and strongest finger liable to get a little bit of man crack in it? You know what I mean? Check your hand. Go wash your hands. Liable to have some hair, some dingleberries or something. You smacking them all. You don't do that. And that's why I don't want to be in sports. I don't need nobody smacking me on my ass in front of the free world. We don't need to be doing that. That is not right, Jay Crowder. You need counseling, sir.